one. See you again. My name is Ryan. Editor Ryan. With you a good day. And now, here is the main news. Follow up. One, Miley Cyrus and boyfriend Max Morando spotted on rare date night after she sued over 2023 hit song, Flowers. The singer was spotted on a rare date night with her boyfriend, Max Morando, at a Future Islands concert in Los Angeles. She wore a relaxed half-up hairstyle, a black sweater, and matching accessories, while Morando sported a messy look with a navy blue Ralph Lauren sweater. The couple, who began dating in 2021 after a blind date, reportedly moved in together earlier this year and are very happy in their relationship. With friends praising Morando as a great guy who values privacy. 2. Sean Diddy Combs placed on suicide watch after being denied bail in sex trafficking. Racketeering trial Sean Diddy Combs has been placed on suicide watch after being denied bail following his arrest for sex trafficking and racketeering. Sources indicate this decision was made as a precaution due to his shock and unclear mental state. Combs, 54, is currently held at the Metropolitan Detention Center in Brooklyn, NY, which has a history of violence and poor conditions. His representatives and the New York Department of Corrections have not commented on the situation. 3. Simone Biles pays tribute to husband Jonathan Owens with tiny new tattoo Simone Biles got a sentimental tattoo in honor of her husband, Jonathan Owens, during her Gold Over America tour. After a show in Arizona, she visited tattoo artist Sidney Smith and had Made in Heaven inked on the back of her neck, along with a small J on her left ring finger. Biles and Owens, who married in April 2023, both have each other's initials tattooed. Owens revealed his tattoo in July 2024, just before Biles headed to the 2024 Olympics. The tattoos took about an hour and a half each to complete, and Smith described Biles as great to work with for. What was Palm Beach socialite linked to Donald Trump Jr. doing sitting behind him and fiancé at RNC? Socialite Bettina Anderson was spotted sitting behind Donald Trump Jr. and his fiancé Kimberly Guilfoyle at the recent Republican National Convention. Reports suggest that Don Jr. and Anderson were seen getting cozy over brunch in Palm Beach, sparking gossip. They were also photographed together at a party in Jupiter, Florida, which Guilfoyle did not attend. Anderson, 37, attended the GOP event in a striking red outfit and was seen applauding, as well as chatting with Don Jr.'s ex-wife, Vanessa Trump, indicating a close friendship between the two. 5. Molly Sims gifts Lisa Barlow a diamond ring after RHOSLC star loses multiple pieces of jewelry Lisa Barlow received a beautiful white gold diamond ring from model Molly Sims on Watch What Happens Live as a gesture to help replace the diamond rings she has lost recently. Sims expressed her sympathy for Barlow's losses, particularly a $60,000 ring from her husband that was lost in Palm Springs. The new ring, featuring nearly 100 pavé diamonds, retails for $1,898 and is available in different gold options. Barlow was excited to receive the gift, which aims to ease her pain from the recent losses. Six. Zayn Malik fans go nuts over daughter's full name as Gigi Hadid celebrates Kai's fourth birthday. Sobbing, Zayn Malik fans expressed their excitement after Gigi Hadid revealed their daughter's full name, 
Kai Malik, while celebrating her fourth birthday on Instagram. Hadid shared photos from the Descendants-themed party, which included a Yoda-themed cake and various fun activities. Fans were thrilled by the name Revelation, with many commenting on social media about their joy and disbelief at Kai turning four. The celebration featured a balloon arch, a blue inflatable slide, and arts and crafts for guests. 7. Florence Pugh says her body went into a bit of trauma after shaving her head for We Live in Time. Florence Pugh discussed her decision to shave her head for her role in the film We Live in Time. During an interview with British Vogue, in the movie, she portrays a chef facing a shocking medical diagnosis. Pew reflected on the significance of hair in various cultures, describing the experience of shaving her head as bizarre and emotionally triggering, noting that it made her feel sensitive and cold. She expressed relief at finally discussing the buzzkit, which she first revealed at the 2023 Met Gala, emphasizing the importance of visually representing the character's transformation. 8. WWHL Lisa Barlow says she's cancelling her CO2 facial, the same horrifying treatment Tamra Judge had Lisa Barlow received a warning from model Molly Sims during the September 18th episode of Watch What Happens Live regarding the CO2 facial treatment. Sims advised Barlow to avoid the procedure, which has gained notoriety after Tamra Judge from the Real Housewives of Orange County shared her painful experience with it showcasing her swollen and crispy face on social media, while Sims expressed support for other beauty trends, such as Sonia Morgan's semen facial and colonics used by Phaedra Parks and Portia Williams, she strongly cautioned against the CO2 facial, emphasizing the importance of not damaging the skin's barrier. 9. John Oliver curses out the Emmys for trying to play him off while dedicating his win to his dead dog. F asterisk 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 U. During his acceptance speech for Outstanding Scripted Variety Series at the 2024 Emmys, John Oliver, the host of Last Week Tonight, dropped an F-bomb on live television after being played off early while discussing his late dog. He expressed gratitude to his staff, HBO, and his family, humorously referring to his son as husband before correcting himself.